Hello everyone, uh, there is a recent uh, controversy regarding uh, Matt Damon and his new uh, uh, movie that's coming up that's called The Great Wall. And um, before I uh, kind of uh, get into why uh, this controversy is uh, stupid beyond belief, I want to just tell you about this moral uh, relativism and uh, w why it's important in this issue because Moral re relativism is where you can uh, change your moral uh, compared to what situation you're in and it's never really uh, set in stone. And uh, this is the social justice warrior culture that we see and, and the feminist culture as well where uh, you have a uh, moral uh, uh, pertaining to one situation but doesn't apply to the next w which means you have uh, a very loose definition of uh, moral uh, and uh, this is what we're dealing here with right here so we have uh, uh, the g uh, big complaints that uh, Matt Damon is whitewashing uh, a th this movie uh, Great Wall but uh, consider wh what's been happening and uh, not only with comics but with uh, 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 other uh, movies and uh, TV shows and what what uh, in in uh, media in general, we have uh, female Thor, we have female Iron Man right now, we have a black Captain America, we have Captain America himself being a Nazi, we have Hulk that's uh, Asian, we have Dark Tower, uh, where uh, the main protagonist is supposed to look like uh, Clint Eastwood, but is uh, now played by Idris Elba. We have Deadshot, played by uh, Will Smith. We have Iris West, who is supposed to be a redhead, is uh, played by a black actress. We have Jimmy Olsen, played by a big black black guy uh, in uh, Supergirl. We have Power Girl, uh, who was uh, changed into a uh, black a woman, even though she's a clone of uh, Supergirl. And uh, then we have Ghostbusters where they uh, just gender swap the entire cast and uh, th this uh, seems to be uh, th there's no problem with this because uh, diversity inclusivity and all this and this is the ro moral relativism i'm talking about we have uh, a certain uh, kind of thing where if if they're changed into uh, a female or a or uh, someone with a minority background, uh, I'm talking about the West here, uh, it's completely fine. And uh, we saw what, what happens when you do this with uh, Ghostbusters. Uh, people didn't go out and watch it, and um, I'm not sure they even made up uh, back their uh, budget. And then we have people getting uh, bent out of shape when Prince of Persia, uh, Persia, which uh, are Iranian, aren't even uh, Arab, where people get upset that uh, Jake Gyllenhaal uh, plays a, the, a fictional character, which uh, uh, Iranians are, aren't even uh, part of that. They're uh, more related to um, Europe, more to the Greeks and uh, Eastern Europe than to the Arabs. And people are complaining about this uh, because my diversity. You have Avatar. People complain that Avatar stole uh, stole this uh, uh, concept that uh, a, a white savior, this white savior complex, uh, except for that it's in space, it's on a moon, uh, uh, on Jupiter, I believe, uh, and uh, they're, they're aliens. They're, it's not a native culture on Earth. Uh, it's a fictional. So the white uh, savior complex uh, uh, doesn't make any sense because... Uh, my diversity. Uh, you have Ghost in the Shell, where people uh, bitched and complained about uh, that uh, uh, Scarlett Johansson uh, was whitewashing. Even though the I tried uh, searching for it, but there's no race uh, for uh, for the major uh, in in Ghost in the Shell. What what, what race? Because she's half uh, human and half uh, cyborg. And now this new movie with Matt Damon. Um, and uh, it, it's made by a Chinese company. Now, just get this. It's, it's made by a Chinese company, made in China, Chinese director, uh, Chinese cast, 
and it's racist and it's whitewashing. What the hell? The Stumble Stunner is kind of pissing me off. Uh, this whole white savior whitewashing. I mean, we have that uh, the last samurai. People might not like it. Uh, uh, that's not what, what what I'm saying. But uh, he wasn't even uh, even the last samurai, because uh, he was b basically a participant uh, participant of the the audience part of the movie, kind of saying how uh, screwed up it was, what they were doing against the samurai. You can talk how uh, that the execution was uh, crap. But um, that that's not uh, the issue here. And now th this new movie isn't even historically uh, correct because th th it has dragons in it, and uh, it it's a fantasy movie. It it's in a fantasy setting. Why is it whitewashing when a Chinese company, Chinese director, the the, the uh, probably even the, the the person who cast Matt Damon, is Chinese? doesn't make any freaking sense they wanted uh, someone who who, uh, who is well known in a fantasy setting that could uh, make them money and they chose Matt Damon how is that right racist doesn't make any sense because these social justice warriors um, live uh, have this special snowflake syndrome and uh, wa want everyone everything in movies to be and uh, remove the uh, cis white male and just have someone uh, uh, in, a, in a wheelchair other kin with uh, g pink hair and uh, uh, being able to fight off demons uh, it, uh, it doesn't make any sense it, it just frustrates me it's been going to, uh, in comics it's been slow in coming uh, with movies it's also been with uh, uh, TV shows and it's really starting to um, piss me off these these snowflakes get offended by everything and even w when uh, when it's uh, done in a fantasy setting uh, there's something wrong with it even when it's a so-called minority even though they're not a minority on this planet Chinese they're like oh, oh, one and a half billion they're uh, the major part of this planet they chose someone who has white uh, skin color. So blame the white guy uh, uh, because of my racism. They, they don't uh, complain to the company that that's making this because they're a minority in, uh, in the West. Anyways, it, it just frustrates me to see these idiots complain about nothing that's worth neither your time but... They're they're influencing people uh, with uh, with this kind of stuff, and it's just, it pisses me off. Anyways, those are my thoughts. Thank you guys for watching, and see you guys next time. Bye.